Western Reed Heights, Washington Street, Ebon Street. Was this? This is the case of the terrible fetus. Ugh. Or fetus? Fetus? Is that how you spell fetus? Yeah, I suppose. I suppose. I don't know. I don't even know. Right, Washington thingy over here. Oh, okay, it's a hospital type thing, look. So yeah, this would make sense. Looks like we're going upstairs. Going up again. Yes, we are. God, like that. Things of nightmares. Hmm. Hmm. These lockers are not one to loot. My dearest comfort, if my scroll is an illegible scribble, forgive me. The shock of what I have delivered from the poor young woman's womb has affected my nerves. A guttural scream is still ringing my ears, and a birth tragedy lurks near where I hide. Oh god, it's here. Had my attendant not been attacked first, I would have certainly shared her fate. The wriggling abomination that erupted from the waif's belly leapt from her body and attached itself to the nurse's throat with a wet smacking sound. Pull behind it, the tall umbilical cord tore out the placenta. Oh, lots of horrible stuff happened. Pause there if you want to read that. I've got a knowledge point. Nice. Oh God, is that it? <laughs> oh no, I appreciate the XP, of course I do. I thought being a hospital, there might have been a, one or two more med packs. But no. Oh, another case solved and I didn't have to expend any ammunition doing it. Okay, so that's that one done. Uh, quick look at the knowledge points. Skills, more skills to pay the bills. Trapper says traps twice as quick. Oh, that would be handy, wouldn't it? Although I've not seen a single trap work yet. Okay, seven more pistol rounds. One more first aid kit and antipsychotic. That's not bad. Oh, I have to have this first, do I? Carry seven more pistol rounds. And six more revolver rounds. That's probably a good one to have, actually. What have we got here so far? Okay, more experience, more sources. Even more experience, more sources. Double the quest reward items earned. Oh, jeez, that's good. It's tempting, isn't it? Although, carrying more ammo has probably got a have its advantages too, isn't it? Oh, they're all really good. You want them all, don't you? It's not often you see a game where the perks are... Um, all worth having. Okay, this is all about carrying more stuff, so it's probably a good idea, isn't it? Okay, we're going to start with that. Alrighty, now we can carry more stuff. Carrying more stuff is tight. Innsmouthers notes. Case the Innsmouthers notes. Now, is this the one that's in the bloody infected area? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. I think I need to go in there and turn left. Here we go. Wow, look at them all, look at them all. Oh, he's... Oh, right, that was a good camera angle.
Oof. Oh my god, what is that thing doing? Gonna be a tough one to crack, isn't it? Seems really random. What spawns in there? Ah. Franks. Oh, good. Uh oh. Man, that's a bit out of order. Good grief. Ah, here we go. Yeah, there it is. Okay, uh, on that day we arrived near Bald's Pyramid, a giant rock around 2,000 feet high extended from the sea. The air is poisoned all around it, and you can barely see the tip of the monolith. The catch is good here, and brought us more gold. And uh, I had to give them two salve. Sorry, oh, slave room here. We bought in Sumatra, which is her from this one. Oh dear. Okay, that's that one done. That was hard. Don't think there's anything else down there. Nice, another one solved. Uh, before I go outside, though. Before I go outside, we want to remove that and look at the next case. So that was the case of the Innsmouthers notes. What's this? Lullaby Crossroad. Today I fell asleep on the streets. I'm sure it's connected to my vision somehow because I felt the same nausea and headache as before. <clears throat> Excuse me. They strike. It happened in Coverside near the corner of Tanner Street and Old Church. Right.
It was an infected area, look. You know what that means, don't you? Stuff. Lots of stuff. Just saved it. Let's have a look at the map. Tanner Street, all the way down. Let's see if we can grab some... Oh! Straight away. Yes. Okay, we're conning around. Conning around. It can be run down and run back. Yes. Oh, oh, uh oh. Oh, there's lots. There's lots. Ooh, and they got me too. Uh, probably not such a good idea after all. Oh, wow. No, not good, not good. Panic, panic, don't panic. Blew. Wow. Has that been coming through there? This is where I'm supposed to be. This looks familiar though, I think I've been here before. Oh wow, I've got lots of stuff there. Nice. Yeah, if this was a quest target, this may not be the mission. Oh, not good. Do with a better melee weapon. Killed it then. Oh no, not these things. Oof. Yeah, it's all very well being able to uh, to kill him you know, by hand. That's first aid kit, isn't it? So let's use this one. But it'd be nice uh, if uh, fired. Fired. Uh, come on, we can, we can string this thought together. Yeah, better melee weapon to do more damage quicker. Don't really want to be standing there toe to toe with them, do you? Somebody here. I'm just rifling through her stuff. The recipe was left to me by my grandmother, and when Lily was little, I used it quite often. A couple of drops in the milk, and she swept, slept sweetly all night. My husband and I finally had a little time for each other. Of course, that was long ago, and since then, I haven't needed Grandma's sleeping elixir. But now everything's changed. It was two days ago that Bill barricaded the windows because we could not bear to see the corpses on the street. We're locked in and we're out of food. The worst of the nights, impossible to sleep because of the squeals of death and other ter terrible sounds. We should flee, but there is no place to go. I'm afraid it's... Uh, I'm afraid as fate draws near that we'll end up like the bakers. I do not want this for my little Lily. While my husband barred the entrance, I made my grandmother's tea. The Lily drank a dose and went to bed, and Bill was getting faint too. Oh no. Yeah, okay, so that one's done. Oh god. Wow, there's some really, really heavy storylines going on here. But that was the case of the Lullaby Crossroad.
Voices from the pipes. I'm afraid of the bathroom and kitchen sink. Every time I want to wash my hands, I tremble in fear. What if they'll talk to me? This began after a vision in Western Reed Heights, near the crossing of Ibon, Ward and Baker Streets. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Sorry. Sorry. Got a... Here we go. Voices from the pipes. This is the case of the voices from the pipes. Pretty sure this is the place. There's a light on at this house. Ah. Can't carry any more of those. Can't carry any more of those. This is the same house. Oh no! Retreating grenade. That sounds big. Oh why? Why does it have to be the big ones? They're really hard to kill. They're very dangerous. Oh boy. Here we go. Most of my supplies are going to be gone again. Oh, don't make me do it. Oh my god. Ah! You know what I didn't do? I didn't save it, did I? I wonder if killing that thing is the actual mission. It doesn't really tell you, does it? It just says to investigate. It's too quiet, it's too quiet, you know it's coming back. Oh, sugar! Oh, I, I think I saw the thing I need. Oh my god. Oh, the graphics, they do pick the worst time to uh, start messing around. Oh! Shit! Yeah, they got me too, of course they did. Jesus. Look, wrong way. Oh, my God, another one of those. Whoa. Oh, you. Go down there, go down, go down, go down. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. No, <laughs> oh boy. Yep, that was the house with the light on. Here we go. Get rid of everybody. We're going in. Twelve gauge, look at that twelve gauge shell. Where's the shotgun? Oh, the shell. oh my god. That thing's still alive. And the graphics again, Tim Man. Oh great. What is going on there? The sanity's not that low.
I think I can solve it without having to kill that, but uh, I've got to get past it still. Look at that. What is going on up there? Wow, some sort of weird miasma -y thing. That is strange. Probably shouldn't be in that. What is that, gas? God, it's everywhere now. What is going on in this place? He's expressed concern about the drains in his bathroom. Rattles, clunks, gurgles, no concern to you. What about the voices, Mr. Big Lee? Will they be enough to get your wrench in hand? Well, it's too late. No amount of tinkering or nut tightening can take back the offer they've made. How can I refuse? They say all I have to do is come down and join them. They show me a way. I don't like or understand it, but they say they've done it before many times. I just need a sharp knife. I will join them piece by piece, and when I'm all gone up here, I will be whole again down there. Whole and glorious. I'm nervous, but they've assured me. That said, you assured me too. Now, I have no choice. They have offered immortality, ecstasy and secrets unbound. But best of all, Mr. Bigley, the pipes are silent down there. I have been assured. All right, solved. Just got to get out alive. Well, that went horribly in there, didn't it? Jeez, what was going on? Don't know how I'm going to edit that. <laughs> that was a disaster. The game just uh, had a fit there, didn't it? Right, voices from the pipes, I believe, is done. Yes, it is.